Is this visit to Abu Dhabi indicative of the role that the UAE and the Gulf states are playing in the future development of Kazakhstan? UAE especially and Gulf state in general are playing a big role on the development of the Republic of Kazakhstan, especially during and after the world economic crisis. And I think a lot of similarities between culture, religion and cooperation of our countries are helping us to understand each other more and we do see more investment, economic investment are coming to our country. Everyone's aware of Kazakhstan's vast oil reserves, but is it necessary to diversify Kazakhstan's economy? World economic crisis help us to understand more the importance of diversification of our economy, diversification and modernization. And now we are in the process of establishing a number of diversification program, including industrialization program, including diversification of our transportation links, including energy, uh, roads, railroads, and etc. The past two years, you've worked through an uh, intense bank restructuring program. Can you tell me some of the lessons that you've learned through this process? In 2009, we had a number of very important and difficult decisions, including entering into the uh, capital of a number of banks. Uh, we had uh, devaluation of our currency in 2009, which helps us to renegotiate some of the agreement with the international financial institutions. And we are about to finalize the deal. We are watching very carefully what President Obama is trying to do, what's happening in the Western Europe, and etc. The deep most important lesson that financial and banking regu regulation should be more tight, but we have to be prepared, and we took our lessons. What is the strategic role of Kazakhstan in providing energy resources to Europe on one side and China on the other? Kazakhstan is playing an important, important role on the supply of oil and gas to the European market through different direction, through Russian pipeline system, through Caucasus, and to China as well. We are, whatever we are committed, we deliver. There's been a lot of concern about regional stability, especially with what's been going on with Kyrgyzstan. Prime Minister, what kind of role have you played in promoting stability in the region? Kazakhstan is the chair in OSCE, and uh, my president is playing a very important role in that. And actually, when all these events happen in Kyrgyzstan, uh, my president, he was in Washington, D.C., on the summit when, and it happens to be that he was next to President, U.S. President Obama, to Russian President Medvedev, and on their behalf, he was involved in some processes in Kyrgyzstan. And we strongly believe that the coordination of work, Kazakhstan, Russia, United States, Western Europe, China, Islamic States, all together, international organizations such as OSCE, uh, EC and etc. They can play a bigger role in the region. There's been a draft law uh, posted that makes President uh, Nazarbayev uh, leader of the nation. What does it mean for the democratic process and also investment stability? It's more symbolic r rather than a legal issue. It's like uh, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk in Turkey or Lee Kuan Yew in Singapore. He's like a father of the nation. He's the person who built up an independent Kazakhstan. And this is very important, not only for us, but it's, only, but it's also important for foreign direct investment. The latest figures show that the economy is growing by 7.6%, and this is in a sort of post-crisis scenario. What can Kazakhstan achieve for 2010 and 2011, do you think? Now we are changing our forecasts, and we do expect 6% growth in 2010 and about the same figure in 2011. From my point of view, 7% growth is ideal for sustainable development of any country. If you can see uh, inflation rate and growth rate, I like 7% growth and 5% inflation. 
Looking at the growth rates we're seeing in Kazakhstan, China and Southeast Asia, would you say the biggest threat at the moment is inflation? That no doubt that inflation is a big issue 2010 and 2011 worldwide, including Kazakhstan. We are even now we are starting to see some tension on the growth of inflation. And what do you think, uh, Prime Minister, are the main challenges now for the Kazakhstan economy? Diversification is the number one issue. Within diversification, I put it as a number one issue is education. Education number one, healthcare number two. This is, where, this is the challenges we do have now. Thank you very much, Prime Minister.